church choir tabernacle. What the fuck is that? That means like, fucking, yeah. Welcome to Propaganda with your host, Bunny. That's me. Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of Propaganda, your weekly source for all things fucked up in this fucked up ass world. Me, Merlou. Hi. How you doing, Boo Boo? Good. How are you? I'm good. We had a long day, right? We did. I hate these days. <laughs> Look at Josh over there. The Josh has been a weirdo. I think the Josh had anxiety all day. Normally, it's me that's got full on anxiety. Look. As soon as we started talking about it, he was like, I'm out of here, bitch. Gotta go. What you got for me, Mimi? What's going on in this fucking world, man? This woman claims she predicted Harry and Meghan Markle splitting from royal family by reading asparagus spears. You know, I would normally laugh at that and be like, what's the wrong with this lady? But a lot of Arabic women will predict the future from coffee grounds. So if you drink coffee out of a coffee cup and you turn it upside down which they drink it like lumpy you know mm-hmm. and you have to let it dry they'll read your future from coffee ground so what she might be fucking insane but she might be right she said she predicts a split she predicted their split from the royal family so oh, i don't know if you kept gotcha. up with that but yeah, yeah, yeah. he stepped away from the royal family i love that yeah. I love it. I think every everybody's coming down on Meghan Markle. And I'm just like, first of all, she probably gave him enough courage to step away from his family. That family has been haunted by fucking curses their entire fucking like, you know, like the Illuminati and shit runs deep in that family. So he probably wants to get the fuck away from it. When I cast the asparagus, she says, it creates patterns. So this woman takes handfuls yeah. of asparagus and she throws them. <laughs> and she was able to, she's a vegetable reader. Um, and in the patterns is how she interprets the future. That's crazy. Can we get her on the podcast? (laughs) Throw some asparagus Bitch, come read my fucking uh, future from some asparagus (laughs) beers, please. For some reason, there's a pigeon in Reno that's wearing a sombrero. (laughs) The sighting comes after a pigeon in Las Vegas with a miniature cowboy hat glued to its head died earlier this week. I got questions. Listen, there's a lot of people who make pigeons pets. Like even Mike Tyson, I'm from Vegas. He lives in Vegas. He had a whole fucking slew of pigeons that were his pets that he loved. So this apparently was somebody's second pet. It had to have been, dude. You know? You glue a little hat on him? I mean, that's a little bit much. That, <laughs> that might be animal abuse. You're gonna but... be a cowboy today. So the pigeon wearing a tiny sombrero in Reno was discovered following sightings of its cowboy hat wearing cousins. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> So this has started a trend. So not only are fucking pigeons wearing cowboy hats, now they're wearing fucking sombreros. Okay. You guys don't have pigeons in Tennessee, do you? I don't really see that many here. I have no idea. There's like a fucking abundance of them in Vegas. Like yeah. it's so bad. So apparently the dude with the cat, the pigeon with the cowboy hat is not alive anymore, but the cousin with the sombrero is. So oh. if you guys see this uh, sombrero wearing pigeon flying around, you have to call animal control because they're trying to catch them. A woman has been rescued after being trapped in a donation bin for three days one of those recycle bins this fucking bitch was trying to so, steal no, is what th- happened this is a um like clothes donation yeah she was probably so, crawled in oh, there true. yeah yeah trying yeah. to grab some clothes and be a little greedy Ooh, and yes. then got trapped a new jersey woman rescued from a clothing bin on monday claimed she was trapped inside for nearly three days authorities say the unnamed 38 year old said she was reaching into a bin so she was she was she trying to steal clothes sticky fingers that's exactly what happened i would hope that she was in need of them that's why she went searching for them but i mean karma bit her in the ass and shoved her in a donation bin that's so embarrassing like what do you tell your family that you got arrested for <laughs> why haven't you been seen <laughs> yeah honey i swear i'm not cheating i was in a donation bin <laughs> youtube prankster appears in australian court for Cuba driving a flooded car to a liquor store in a viral video perhaps the only ones not phased by the heat with these lads a trip to the bottle o went swimmingly carpooling at its best Michael Alexander, who runs the Racka Racka YouTube. I don't know if you've ever seen him. He has a twin brother named Danny. So they got in trouble because what they did was they modified a Ford Laser and they put on scuba diving uh, regulators and goggles and filled the car up with water because they didn't have AC in the car. So they're driving to this liquor store and they get beers and then they down the beers under the water in the fucking car. How'd they get out of the car without the They climbed out the sunroof, I believe. 
believe. I believe. Questions. That I'm not sure, but I do believe that they climbed out the sunroof. Oh my God. Okay. Well, first off, I didn't know what a Ford laser was. Yeah, so me either. I think it's some Australian <laughs> shit. I had no idea. Overseas. Yeah, for oh, sure. Shit. But the idea that these people have, I mean, it's it just, incredible. He got charged with driving reckless or dangerous manner, driving in an unregistered vehicle and failing to wear a seatbelt. No driving while intoxicated. I was like, saying he wasn't under the influence. They downed a fucking beer and don't give him that charge, but charge him for not wearing a fucking seatbelt. Make sure you get him for not wearing a fucking seatbelt. I just think these YouTubers are getting a little crazy. Like everybody on, on the internet is just trying to make that that video go viral. Outdo you know? one another. And it's like, you really only get fucking not even 15 minutes of fame anymore. Mm-hmm. You get 15 seconds. Yep. And then it's like, you have to outdo yourself again. All the time. Like when is enough enough? You've said it before repeatedly that one day it's going to take someone getting hurt for them to realize like mm-hmm. you took that shit too far. That and I always say you're only as good as your last post. The world's largest Snickers bar was unveiled in Texas. Oh my god, I hate <laughs> Snickers. Unless it's the Snickers bar ice cream and then I'll eat it. See, I love a Snickers. See, I don't. I, don't. Mm. I love that. Have you ever had the ice cream? No. Oh my god, you gotta. Ch- I'll get you one. They're so We're gonna good. try it on YouTube for everyone. Yeah. Let's <laughs> so candy maker Mars set a new Guinness World Record. Oh, okay. My questioning was why the f*** <laughs> that they had to have this large of a candy bar, but it makes sense. So Guinness World Book of Records producing a massive Snicker bar weighed in at 4,728 pounds. And who's eating this? A f***ing A, right? I don't know. So the they measurements... just did this for fun? Uh, yes, for, for an award. 12 feet <laughs> oh long, 24 inches high, and 26 inches wide. Wow. It is an equivalent of 43,000 Snicker bars in one. Ew. Texas I, I can, If big. it was a Kit Kat, a dark chocolate Kit Kat, I'd be all over it. Ooh, I'd eat the 4,000 like pounds. Chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Hey. Milk chocolate is just not good to me. I love white chocolate. I don't know what it is, but like those... white chocolate tastes like makeup. To no, me. is it like the cookies and cream <laughs> one? You know what I'm no, talking about? No, Barb. Oh, I love what it. What do you guys like? Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, or white chocolate? Comment below and let us know. Girl's eyelashes are ripped out after a double-headed dildo hits her at Bongo's Bingo. <laughs> I was like, this is this story has me written all over it. Who brought a dildo to Bingo? <laughs> Dude, who doesn't bring their dildo to Bingo? That's a better question. You know, I'm so these sad. old ladies are fucking crazy. I hate that we do not have Bingo out here. That's I jam. know. I That's used to play bingo jam. all the time in Vegas. Tegan Denham documented the bizarre mishap in a hilarious video in which she peers down and looks horrified at her bare eyelids. She and then she explains how the lashes, the lash extensions were ripped from her eyes. She told how the sex toy had whacked her in the face as she danced at Bongo's Bingo. In the clip, which went viral after she posted it to social media, Tegan looked shocked as she peered down at her bare eyelids. She looks like Stu Cat. She's got no hair on. So she whacked herself in the face with the dildo. That's what she gets. Don't bring a dildo to Bingo. Don't be fucking a dirty bitch, and you all have these fucking problems. That don't look like no Bingo Hall I've ever been to. Is that just the name of the place? Way (laughs) cool. Oh, Bongo Shout out Bingo. Bongo's Bingo for making it look lit. Escaped horse rides city bus in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A loose horse on the main. <laughs> A48 East Avenue decided it wanted to stir up a little trouble. But in doing so, it risked falling foul of the law. It has decided to jump on the city bus headed towards the health hospital. He's getting the f*** out of there, man. That's what I call horsepower. <laughs> Look at him. It looks like a mini horse, oh, too. Give me that little baby. Oh, you're a horse person, aren't I you? I love horses, yes. So he was found r- round running loose in the streets of Welsh capital, was captured by witnesses and loaded onto the bus. Oh, so they rounded him up onto the bus, I guess to take him home? I don't know. Let's and all these stories and nobody's got a real happy ending here. Is the horse okay? That's all we want to know. <laughs> the bystanders who helped police capture the horse said the bus driver offered his vehicle when police were determined it would be a while before they could get a horse trailer to the scene. So Aww. this was actually good hearted. So is everybody to coming that. together to help the horse? Eh? He took a five minute r- bus ride and was reunited with his owner in a local parking lot. <laughs> I love horsey. He's a little mini horsey. Horsey. Sweet baby. I love horsey. Three day erection. A man hospital <laughs> Hospitalized after taking Viagra that you give to bulls. No. So instead of having blue balls, he had bull balls.
Oh my God. A man seeking to have sex sought treatment for an erection that lasted three days after he ingested a drug used to stimulate bulls for insemination. The unidentified man who bought the drug used by farmers for cattle breeding purposes checked himself into a hospital in Reynosa at the U.S.-Mexico border, where he underwent an operation to alleviate the erection. The man told doctors he took the Viagra for bulls because he planned to have a successful sexual encounter with a 30-year-old woman. I mean, hey. Hey, you gotta fucking admire his game, right? I want to know how they relieved it. <laughs> Me too. And if he's gonna be affected for the rest of we his life, we need to ask Dr. Felix. Oh my God! Next time she's on the podcast, for <laughs> how sure. How do you relieve an erection? How do you just look at a pill that's made for a bull and be like, mm, I want to take that? <laughs> hey, Mimi. Hey. It's time to talk again. Yeah. Internet is up and like just roar over this new found <laughs> scientific study i don't even know if it's new or maybe it was just newly found but i'm gonna have you watch this all right <laughs> did y'all know that if a dude puts his balls in something he can taste it he can taste it i wish i was kidding i wish i was i'm not if you have testicles please dip your balls in something it's for science and i must know thank you Oh my god. This is a new found and and I have watched so many people online right now trying this, but apparently more acidic things such as oranges like and oranges, such, and yeah. And soy sauce is another big thing that Oh my god, cuz it's all the sodium. They have taste buds on their balls. Wow. I got to dip Jelly's balls in some shit tonight. I need to know. We're about to go eat sushi. I'm going to have to oh, put it put in some, wasabi. <laughs> just reach Lather over. Lather some just, wasabi. Give him a wasabi hand job and see how it feels. <laughs> one of the running jokes was, you know, guys like sweat at night. Yeah. And when they wake up, they got a weird taste in their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> ball sweat. Ew. Sick. I didn't even think about that. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> It is Chachi. I didn't think it was possible to have another dog whose butthole was bigger than my dog's. <laughs> Chachi wars. has the biggest butthole. Like, it is just you stare at it. It's so big. But this dog's asshole. I got to show Jay this. This is so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Looks like a heartbeat. It like, does. something's tried like Ace Ventura when something's crawling out of the back <laughs> of the ass. That's exactly what his fucking shit looks like, dude. Just take your time with this one. Be patient. Because nobody out there thinks that you can drink like a normal cat, but we're about to prove them wrong today, right? So just relax. And let's see what happens. Back up real quick, son. Back up, back up, back up. Hey, no, 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 back up. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. All right, calm down, there it is. Eat your <laughs> God damn it, Chug. Chug, that's the perfect Keep name. Kidding, what is wrong with him? <laughs> How's he breathing to even swallow? I have no idea, but that poor I'll little breathe. baby. <laughs> you know what? They need to throw him in a pond and see what happens. Oh, he would go to town. Yeah, he would just be fine. He's so cute. I love him. Give me that chug. What a cute name for him, too. Oh, that's one of those sex outfits. No, this is a trend on... In TikTok, where they put people in trash bags and they use a um, shop back and put it on reverse and it sucks all the air out of the trash bag. <laughs> I'm like, that's one of those sex suits. You've seen them, right? People what you're wear talking them. About, but those are trash bags and it's trending that they get inside of them and it just sucks them up. This goes back to people just <gasps> doing weird shit for views. <laughs> Who the fuck had the time to figure that out? Who thought about like, let's put you in a trash bag? <laughs> yeah, <it was> so <gasps> nuts. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Propaganda. I need you to rub my button right here. Fondle this one down here i don't even know what we're doing like <laughs> like <laughs> comment subscribe turn the notification bell on all that jazz tell us to go fuck ourselves either way we'll be back next week bye Mwah.